What's up, everybody? Jensen Cummings here. Thank you for tuning in on this Sunday, the very last day of May. It's been a long May for sure. Another installment, episode five of Best Served High Hospitality Industry Good Health, where we're trying to find balance for us crazy all-in industry professionals. And so this morning, I have Gina Horton, who is a licensed acupuncturist with Insight Acupuncture in Denver, Colorado. Gina, we're gonna have some fun. Oh, good. We need some fun. I live downtown and uh, we're cleaning up this morning and another day and the sun is shining. Yes, absolutely. So I want to give people a little, little context, a little background of you uh, to build credibility because in the industry, we're very quick to say, you don't know what it's like. You don't know us. <laughs> you know? And so I always try to break through that right away when we're talking about balance, when we're talking about health and wellness and fitness and lifestyle, all of those things. So Gina, give us a little background on you to give everybody a little insight into uh, you and the work that you do. Right. So we were talking you know about, there? We were you and I were talking about this, that um, my background, um, I'm an acupuncturist for 21 years now. And um, before that, I had a, a, a second career, a previous career. When I was 17 years old, I started in radio as a radio DJ and then uh, segued into um, doing marketing and promotion for record companies. And that's where I had an expense account back in the heyday of the 80s. And that's where I learned to eat out when I lived in San Francisco. And so I really got to enjoy some fabulous food. And then when I left that industry and went back to school, I stopped eating out to save money. And then now that I have a pretty solid business, the first place I go back to to spend my money uh, as I told Jensen, sushi was my first choice after my first paycheck after pandemic time was, you know, it's, I'm going back to work. But I, I love food and it's made me uh, love the people in the industry. And I've always been the type of person to want to connect more to the servers than the patrons. So, I, you know, I always say, can I wash the dishes? You know, can I learn to cook? Goose Sorensen was the first person who said, yeah, come in the kitchen. It's not easy, you know. So. Yeah. It, that's where I'm at, and I'm. Uh, my practice is um, a solid uh, practice about feeling good, about taking care of your body, your mind, your spirit. And uh, I do have a, a few of the patrons that come in to see me. I'm I'm blessed to be able to touch your people, if you will, and try to make them feel better. That's good. We need we need that. And and yeah. you know, having interacted so much, having been in the scene, you know, even adjacent, but in the scene connecting to the people, which is the most important thing. Yeah. We suck at taking care of ourselves. We're yeah. amazing at taking care of others. We suck at taking care of ourselves and sometimes each other. And so that's what this channel is about. And your work as an acupuncturist, let's break down. When people think of that, I think it's more like people see a meme or a funny movie where, you know, the protagonist goes into a, a, a Chinese parlor and ends up completely covered with yeah. needles on their back. But give us a little bit of breakdown practically. What is acupuncture? What is it? And what is it actually unlocking? Oh, boy. That is like as a oracle for my profession and this ancient medicine, uh, the most difficult part of my job every day is when a client comes in the office and says, how does this work? Mm, I, I, don't know. I don't know. I mean, uh, solving the mystery of chi and of energy is quantum physics. And um, mm. I have a sense for everything on a theoretical level. Uh, I do a lot of things that I don't know why it happens, but it but it does work. I talk to a lot of anesthesiologists that work out at the University of, of Colorado at the uh, Anschutz outpatient operating room. And the anesthesiologists are the first ones to say, we get why you don't understand what you do because we don't always get why the brain works on uh, with, with anesthesia. Like, I mean, obviously they know dosage, they know how it happens, but every person responds really different to anesthesia. And it's the same with acupuncture. And I, I really liken it to, um, you know, you remember the cartoon Marvin the Martian or am I dating myself? Of course, yes. Yes, you do, good, Woo, yes. that's funny, right? Look how, how popular Space Jam is right now. Like the worst <laughs> movie ever is like super hot because people are like, this is ridiculous, but so is my life. I need this. Oh, level. everything is ridiculous, right? But so is Marvin the Martian was like the little guy that would get in the spaceship. And I, I there's this this thing, this thing I spit out all the time that I learned in, in the first years in theory. You have to learn a lot about theory and history of Chinese medicine. And 
this is beautiful. If you can understand the concept of chi, think about you are the power plant and it is your electricity only serving you. So there's this line in an ancient text and um, it's chi is the mother of blood and blood is the commander of chi. So our energy really flows in our blood. If we bleed out, we don't have any chi left and we die, right? So I think of Marvin the Martian is the chi, right? Getting in the spaceship is the blood and moving all around. So I, I try to have fun with this because people- That's say, gotta be the most bizarre analogy I've heard for chi ever, but you know what? <laughs> That's why I think it probably works. What I like about you is like, the relatability of it, like, look, you're thinking metaphysical, your shit is way over most of our heads when it comes to that. Sometimes we're such tactile people in the restaurant industry, we touch everything. Yes. If I cannot cook it, if I cannot chill it down, heat it up, it does not exist. And so sometimes we struggle with metaphysical, but having somebody like you that's in with our community that builds trust and rapport, and that can make us laugh, yes. and break that tension, because it's a little bit, it's well, tense yeah. and we're tense, that's why we need it. So. Laughter I really appreciate you. To me, laughter and you know, body, mind, and spirit, it's all one. The, the physicians that I work with at the university, I've had to really learn how to take something that sounds so foreign. We speak about heat and cold in Chinese medicine. All the diagnostics are like wind, heat, wind, cold, toxic heat, you know, all these different kind of like weather sounding terms. I've had to figure out how to come up with on the fly to talk to some of these very intelligent and I respect so much academics to explain what I'm talking about. And I go neurotransmitter on them. And I talk about serotonin and endorphins and what really happens. And when they think that this is a, um, a placebo effect that people are seeing something, so they want something to happen. My first response is usually to kind of be a bit of a, a smart ass that is my middle name and so, you know your head's connected to your body and whatever happens in your head you feel in your body and they take a step back and they totally i i, I feel that they respect that and that they understand but there's tons of science about um neurotransmitters serotonin dopamine all all these things that happen with acupuncture that have been researched so hence so what is it about acupuncture that we actually need i am, mm. am and working in a restaurant in Denver or anywhere else, I'm working long hours, it's hot, it's stressful, I'm getting yelled at, uh, and I need something. Yeah. Quite often that turns to, to substances and alcohol. Yeah. We, we are professionals when it comes to destroying our bodies, our right. minds, our spirits. What can I actually get? I, I take the acupuncture, I'm, I'm starting to engage with that. I buy into everything that you're saying. I like you, I wanna get the acupuncture. What can I expect as far as how my body and mind is going to react to that actual treatment? So part of the reason that you're having me on today is this um, free clinic that we're going to offer next weekend. And I, I have to get into that because that is going to help answer your question. So it's a clinic. It's going to be Dana Rodriguez, Chef Dana and Tony and Tab have been kind enough to give myself and Julie Johnson, Sybil Kendrick and Jackie Sagum, three other acupuncturists, super mega bien all day on Sunday and Saturday. Um, we're gonna transform it into the super mega Zen that's, that's June 6th and 7th, Saturday, June 6th, Sunday, June, June 6th, 7th, yeah. yes? Yes, okay. exactly, and we're gonna be there from 10 until five. We're taking appointments on Schedulicity. Go to Schedulicity Denver, Google super mega, and it'll be super mega Zen Den. And we're gonna have people come in the pandemic is making it a tricky situation. I want to give you some background. We want to make people feel good, get anxiety and stress relief. And the protocol that we want to practice the day of that, that the plan is, was developed in 20, I have to look at my note here, uh, 2006. And it was uh, developed by a woman named Diane Fried. And she's in NOLA down in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. She set up this, um, this clinic and it's five points in each year. These five points in each year were also used back in the 70s at methadone clinics for drug rehabilitation when methadone wasn't helping opiate addiction. And this five treatment, five needles in each year, sitting in a chair, what we call community style, with social distancing in this case, um, it releases endorphins, 
It releases serotonin. It's a very calming thing. It's one of the things that happens when you sit down and are able to get still and meditate. It grounds you, it regroups you, it gets you rooted. Our goal, because we do love the restaurant industry and we know how much everyone has suffered, whether they know they're gonna have a job, how to go back to work, all the logistics of everything that's happening in Denver. I miss eating out. Um, we wanna support everybody for everything that, that they've ever done. And the goal is to touch everyone who's ever touched my fork, plate, knife, drink, all these people that I have dinner with at the bar all the time, I wanna help them. We wanna help them feel good. And this this particular protocol now has been uh, picked up. Diana developed a group called Acupuncturists Without Borders. And, um, you know, in NOLA after Katrina, they started doing treating firefighters, police officers, mental health shelters, homeless shelters. And they were going around doing all, this is a super easy thing for us to put someone in a chair and let them get into an instant meditative state. Um, it's, it's since expanded to U.S. military. The veterans use it now. Uh, we treat chronic pain, concussive brain injuries. Um, we've got substance dependency that we treat. Uh, the aftermath of many emergencies. I was involved. One of the most important things I've ever experienced in my life was being able to treat all the healthcare workers out at the hospital after the Aurora shootings. Uh, we treated 400 people in two days, and that was something I never expected to feel so much about. It was pretty crazy great. And so we've treated uh, from the Boston Marathon bombings, uh, Midwestern tornadoes, wildfires, Colorado, California, Iowa, now Nepalese earthquakes, Haiti earthquakes, Mexico. Uh, the woman who's uh, the head of Acupuncturists Without Borders, she treats uh, on the Palestinian border in Israel and she treats both sides. Wow. So it's not just uh, uh, self care and maintenance, but it has a significant impact on trauma. Yes. Your brain, trauma. your stress, your heart, it connects everything that becomes disconnected in times of, of, of pain and, and trauma. It can help you feel calm and get your body to begin to release those endorphins on their own. Take you out of fight or fight or flight as yeah. quickly as possible for That's sure. Right. It makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Uh, it didn't make sense to me when I was in restaurants. It makes a lot of sense to me now, which is why we have this channel to be able to share. Because I'm hoping 23 year old me listens uh. and slows down for just a <laughs> second. It can change the trajectory of your career path because we are bright lights that burn out rather than fade away 100. percent right. So I think it's very important. How long? How long am I in the chair? What's the uh, the time frame of the process? Because we're very quick, quick, quick. We got two minutes to the window. Like, yeah, you know. I know, I know. Well, and I kind of have that from being an old DJ. I'm like, how much yeah. time do we have, Jensen? And I'm, yeah. I've got a three and a half minute clock that I've I've turned into four songs. I used to like. I know I can say this because most people, I'm pretty transparent. Yeah, I'm totally transparent. Back in 1979 and 1980, we would put on Traffic, Low Spark of High Heel Boys, which is a 19 minute and 20 second song and go out back and smoke a joint. So I have like, uh, <laughs> I, have, uh -huh. I don't get high anymore. I have this, I like being clear. I have this 20 minute clock, but this particular treatment, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the restaurant up logistically. We're gonna only have a gathering of 10. We wanna respect that. Um, we're gonna have appointments where we have eight people coming in. Every We have four people every 15 minutes. This is how it's scheduled. Okay. You will be sitting in a chair distanced from each other. It's a relatively nonverbal quiet. I don't have to ask you any questions except, you know, Hi, and I just love knowing people's names. And the hardest thing is for me not to talk too much to everybody. Mm -hmm. But we get you in a chair, we put five needles in each ear. You sit there for 25 minutes, we pull the needles and uh, you kind of float out. I've seen it time and time again. If we're going to Haiti and Nepal to do this, you know something's going on and people are asking for it. So I yeah, really want to turn Denver on to it. Am I okay to drive afterwards? I don't know how 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 yeah. far will I be floating. You know, everybody at my office, like people who come in for like a full workup and and big old yeah. treatment, you know, they're usually kind of stoned when they leave. And a lot of ladies go, "I've never gotten high," and I'm like, "You are now. It's a natural high." But you, I think it's best to just like chill out and go sit still, take advantage of the minutes. 
that your body feels like it can relax. I find it difficult to sit still. I sat on my balcony yesterday uh, and watched a lot of things happening downtown, but I colored with pencil drawing books during the, to try to keep myself connected. So That's I'm gonna great. give you guys some goodies along the way, on the way out too. We'll, we'll give all it right, all let's give people the, the, the um, details again, Saturday, okay. June 6th and Sunday, June 7th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Denver, Colorado, Super Mega BN, which is in the Rhino neighborhood, 26th. 25th and and Larimer, right on 25th the corner. 25th and Larimer. All right. So if you're local to Denver, uh, check out. Tell us again where they need to go to get signed so, up for the time well, slots. The, the restaurant is in the Ramble Hotel, and I think everybody knows where that's at. And um, you can go to a website called Schedulicity. And um, you uh, search acupuncture Denver, super mega Zen Den. That's great. Gina Horton, thank you for the work that you're doing. Yeah. I think it's important. And uh, being of service to the hospitality and service industry is really important. We need it. We need to find that balance in a natural high. Sounds pretty damn good to me. So thank I, you for I your time. You, there. you better be there. I, I know. You know, what's uh, what's funny is, is my wife Betsy, especially when she was pregnant, was definitely doing acupuncture. And I for sure am still very open, yet was like, nah, it's just not worth my time. And so I've definitely made a shift towards that. And so this is a good uh, a good stimulus for me. So uh, I, I like it. I appreciate it. All right. Let me touch you. Yes. Uh, the, the ears. I got I got flexible ears here. I barely so. touch you. All, about it. All right, Gina. Thank you so thank much. You. Cheers. Thank you, Jensen. All right. You heard it. Balance. This is the word of the show. I appreciate Gina. We were able to get her on very quickly. Usually we're, we're thinking more kind of evergreen and holistic, but uh, Elon Wenzel connected us and, uh, and had to get her on because I think it's important, an opportunity for finding balance, a little Zen moment and free. Those were multiple things that I know that the industry needs right now. And if that's an opportunity, the catalyst that gets you to say 23 year old me, Hey, slow down and, and take a moment it can change. It can change a lot about the industry and I'm hopeful for that. All right. I have another episode coming up of best served high hospitality industry, good health at 1 PM mountain time, Aaron Boyle, who's done a lot of work in mental health as a chef professional, long time as a, as her career and still currently. And then she also is just volunteering and spending a lot of time in advocacy working with uh, the Denver chef Guild brand new operation as well as Chow. That's where I got my inspiration for the acronym of HI. Chow is Culinary Hospitality Outreach and Wellness, started by John Hinman and a few others. So we're gonna talk a little bit about mental health, which we need right now, as well as a little bonus, I don't know if it's a bonus, an additional uh, broadcast here, probably in like 10 minutes, I'm just gonna gather my thoughts. So if you're listening right now, tune back in just a statement and some personal sentiment about the state of things right now with the turmoil that's going on with the protests in the street and just a statement of solidarity. So that'll be on the best served page as well in a moment. So appreciate everyone. Go find some balance. Take care of yourself. Cheers. <laughs>